you'll be surprised how many people you run into that are amputees. It's, it's, kind, it's kind of funny. Like many other young men his age, Donald Speed wanted to play college football with dreams of someday becoming a professional athlete. But after a fatal car accident, his dream was slightly derailed. I was driving in a newer age car called a Slingshot and the power steering had locked up on me and I ended up losing control. I turning into traffic and then as I was turning away from it, I lost control of it. And as soon as I lost control, I ended up flipping over an old canal twice and ended up slicing my carotid artery, which, it made, which made me have, end up having to lose my arm. Speed's story has been an inspiration to everyone he's come across on and off the field especially for the kids he coaches, including the head ball coach himself. Um, yeah, you can just tell um, by, the, by the way they, they talk to him and, and, and speak about him and, and act when he's around that they just have an in incredible respect for him, um, not only as a football player and, and as a coach, but also as someone who cares about them, a mentor, um, someone who has their best interests at heart. Donald's perseverance and enthusiasm rings through the team, along with friends and family, Thoughts of what could have been never crosses his mind, and his mother, who he calls his hero, has been with him every step of the way. You know, I wouldn't necessarily call help because my definition of help is a little unique, but like right now, he does not want help. assistance. <laughs> he doesn't want help. He wants to do it on his, his, his own. So I know he's very independent. He's determined to be independent. Although Donald has faced minor roadblocks along the way, he is coping well after the accident with the support of friends and family. Nothing will deter him from his future goals, and he harbors no regrets. Life is still great. I mean, I love life, and it's not going to stop me from living it.